Welcome again. This is San Fernando Open Bible Morning Devotions. This is the Father's Heart. I'm Pastor Mike Lombard. Thank you for taking time to watch from wherever you're watching around the world. Do you ever struggle to find someone you can trust to share your heart with? I think we've all really felt that. As humans, we learn from an early age not to share everything with everyone. Some people misuse information and some people just don't understand us. Therefore, we look for safe places and safe people to share our heart with. Many people have been hurt enough that they rarely feel that it is safe to share their deepest thoughts and feelings and emotions. One time I was with a man who studied personalities. He quickly evaluated me and told me things about myself that I had never recognized. I can tell you that that idea that someone already knows the deepest thoughts, it can be disconcerting on the inside. I like John 4, and in there Jesus illustrates how this concept works with God. In verses 16 to 18, Jesus reveals details of the life of the Samaritan woman he met at the well. He revealed that she had been married five times and was now living with a man. She had a reputation. She had to be the talk of her town. In fact, this is what I believe. I believe mothers probably warned their children to avoid that woman. Verses 28 and 30, she goes back into town and tells people, come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Who would want everything re revealed about their life? Just the thought of this causes some of us to feel insecure. However, this woman discovered that she was safe with Jesus. Condemnation paralyzes a person. It shuts them down. It is one of the tools of the enemy in our lives to stop us in our tracks. In Revelation, he is called the accuser of the brethren. Consider that he is always making accusations against you. The refreshing contrast with God is that he knows you. He knows your heart. He knows your struggles on the inside. Like with the woman at the well, God doesn't know your heart to condemn you, but to set you free and open the door for you to move for forward. Here are two scriptures which reveal how God works. The first is Hebrews 4.12. For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing of soul and spirit and joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So God's word penetrates, it divides, it judges, or King James says it's a discerner of the thoughts and the attitudes or the intentions of the heart. In other words, God's word reveals what's really in your heart. Then Psalm 139 verse one says that you searched me and you know me. In the world we live in, it sounds like an invasion of privacy or stalking. The reality is that we don't even know or understand all of our inner thoughts and our emotions. However, this verse shows us that even when we do not understand ourselves, God sees us and knows us. The second verse continues into the verse says, it says that you perceive my thoughts from afar. It does not say that I reveal my thoughts to God, but rather that he perceives and discerns my heart. By the time I choose to pour my heart out to God, he already knows my heart. When, my, when God discerns the deepest thoughts of your heart and my heart, he also opens a safe path forward. He is saying, your heart is safe with me. And we discover that we are safe, as we discover we're safe with God, we begin like King David to voluntarily allow God to do what he does best, discern the heart. Listen to King David, Psalm 139, 23. He says, search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. As you begin your time with, the, with your Heavenly Father today, before you pour out your requests, begin right, reflecting on the fact that He already knows you better than you know yourself. Reflect on the fact that you are safe with Him. And like King David, invite your Heavenly Father to search your heart, even your anxious thoughts. Let's pray together. Father, we come before you right now. 
We come to you because you know our thoughts, you know our heart, even better than we know ourselves. So today, my friends who are watching, I pray, Lord, that you would cause them to feel safe in your arms, safe with you. And Lord, as they open their heart to you, I pray you would wrap their arms around them and give them safety and security. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us. Share this devotion with others. Have a great day. May Jesus be with you wherever you go today. Amen. Thank you.